I'm a small business owner, educator, earth scientist, and I'm a rock star. Hello, my name is Amy Bergen. I'm a small business owner based out of Edmonds, Washington. The name of my business is Rock Solid Science. I do specialty camps where I do basically geology focused kind of experiential kind of activities. You know, we play with soils, we check out properties of rocks, we look at geodes and how they form and crack them open. We study the rock cycle, things like that. I do classes around rocks and minerals. At an early age, I had some great experiences. Panning for gold, for example, in the Colorado River, that was just one of the most awesome experiences that I can remember as a kid. I had wonderful science teachers in middle school and in high school, and then I went on to Western Michigan University to pursue my earth science degree. After that, I moved to the city and dappled in different types of work. I missed teaching. And so, and my rock collection was still growing, so I just said, okay, I need to share some of these gifts with others. It started out where I would just volunteer and do programs and do classes at the, through rec centers. You know, parents were responding really well to these classes, and so I thought, oh, maybe I can form a little tangible business around this. I tried to promote systems thinking by starting with the big picture. I start my presentation with the classes, um, the shape of the earth and the layers of the earth and the dynamic systems that are happening within each layer and then talking about some of the external systems like in the universe or in the atmosphere or whatnot those are systems too they all kind of interact to cause change and how do that how does that change create this great stuff there's this one piece that i have been saving for and dreaming about and it is called a gemstone mining sluice and it's an attraction and it's just another way to dig into the experience of prospecting digging rocks getting wet um, really getting into the experience of where rocks come from and it kind of mimics a mountain experience it's really cool my dream is really to own an earth science learning studio but as a temporary step an interim step I'm gonna actually design, have these carts designed that will tote my, my materials inside of a vehicle. There's a lot of things I love about this work. Um, one of the big pieces is the feedback that I get from parents and from teachers that just love what I'm doing. And it just, it fires me up. It makes me feel really good to share my knowledge with others. I would say the most challenging piece of being a small business owner is I wear many hats. There's so many pieces of running a business and I need to lean on others to help me get it done. My advice if you want to be a small business owner is to um, lean on others if you don't have expertise in a certain area, but just take risks, just go for it. If, it's, if you really feel passionate about a subject, surround yourself with people and resources to help you get to the next step and just keep plugging along. I have become a systems thinker in STEM, so can you.